Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Tonight we're continuing with Operation Martlet. Um, Lieutenant McFarland will attempt to crack the German mainline resistance here in Fontenay for the second time. Uh, this is campaign turn six, mission three, uh, and then second attempt. And it is the late morning of June 26, so the bombardment is now over. So the Germans will no longer suffer the penalty to come on. Um, <coughs> Lieutenant McFarland will be getting 21 support points because the second attempt gets one extra one. Uh, the Germans are getting seven. And the Germans are also getting plus two on their uh, force morale roll due to Lieutenant Hines' uh, outlook on himself and the men men's outlook. And McFarland uh, he's not getting any bonuses, but he's also not getting any negatives yet. So we'll go ahead and go over the core forces. Here we have Lieutenant Hines and his force. Uh, we're down four guys. So I took two guys out of that. And one guy each out of those two squads. Still got the Panzer IV. Kind of been the star of the uh, campaign so far. Killed two AVREs, so that's pretty badass. Um, yeah, there's not really much else to say about Lieutenant Hines' force. He's been uh, doing a good job. His men really respect him. And his CO is even starting to warm up to him after he finally held his ground last game. He wasn't too happy with him falling back uh, before that, but holding this line uh, impressed the CO, so his opinion is up one. So that's it for uh, Lieutenant Hines. We'll go see what Lieutenant McFarland's got. Here we have Lieutenant McFarland's platoon. As you can see, there's a missing section because he is down 10 men. Uh, so he's, they're hurting right now. Uh, they do, the British do have the option of bringing a fresh platoon in once these guys run out of steam, which uh, Andre has determined has not happened yet. So he's pushing on with just uh, these guys. about to gain momentum. Yeah. So we'll see how long uh, Lieutenant McFarland guys, uh, his boys have to keep banging their heads up against the German line before they put a fresh platoon in. So same setup, uh, you got two full squads, Bren gun, rifle team, you got your uh, two inch mortar with the blue base, two leaders, and the Piot team. And, and 21 support and points. And 21 points of support. So we, we're keeping that secret, so that will be uh, unveiled as the game progresses. So. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the patrol phase. Um, Andre can start with three or four along his baseline. And he will get some free moves. And I will start kind of all of mine stacked up in the intersection there. And I also get one free jump off point placed on the objective uh, once all the other uh, jump off points are placed. So we'll go ahead and get started with the patrol phase. Okay, uh, patrol phase complete. That's what it wound up uh, looking like. So Andre had three, he chose three, not four. And kind of a semi-circle there. He's obviously planning on pushing up this uh, side. This is where all the cover is. Again, I don't have any idea what his uh, support is. Could be all infantry again, could be all armor. Uh, I had two locked down immediately right there by that one. But I had four, so I was able. I was putting one over there, thinking maybe he might come from that direction. I do have a free one, a free jump off point. I'm going to get uh, there, but I still wanted one maybe kind of back over there, so I could deploy behind that hedge. But who knows? I still might be able to. <laughs> the line is. <laughs> Heck yeah! Off of those two, you can. No, these two. Yeah. These two, but that one, <laughs> yeah, like a, you got a straight line. <laughs> I, just, I didn't even do that on purpose. 
But I, because if I put it right on the edge in front of that hedge where it would wind up, I'd still be able to deploy behind it. Anyway, uh, so that's the, we haven't placed our jump off point yet. I guess we forgot to do that, but uh, let's do that real quick. Uh, jump off points deployed. Andre put two here, immediately behind cover. So you got, where'd the other one go? Oh, the other one's here behind that little stand of trees, which luckily is right there where it is. So yeah, everything's gonna be coming in over here except any vehicles will be coming in on the road. Uh, my vehicles, I was thinking about deploying them off of this road, um, since it is kind of in my deployment zone. Yeah, you got this one too. I mean. Yeah. It says if there's, in the, I was just reading the rule, it says uh, table edge. So I guess technically this is my table edge. It says there's more than one road on your table edge. Oh. So I guess technically I probably can't use those two. They're in your deployment zone, but they're definitely not on your edge. Right. So I'll just come in on that road. That's fine. Um, so anyway, my deployment, uh, my jump off, I've got one in the building. I got the free one there. Got another one back here, and then I wound up placing one in the like two inch window I had over here, but I'm still pretty close to that hedge. So that'll do it. Force morale wise, I got an 11. I rolled a five, I got plus two on my force morale roll. So I got a six, which makes me an 11, and Andre got a nine. So he's gonna have to get me down to zero and sit on the objective at the same time to win, which is not gonna be easy. So we'll go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll get started. Here we go. First phase of the game. It is not a double phase. You were hoping. It's actually, hmm, okay. The three brought the Sherman on. And the four and the one. Yeah, it looks like uh, Lieutenant McFarland himself and the two inch mortar team have deployed. And now it's the German phase. And Schmidt, see if we get some double phases again, Andre. Now's a good time. Nope, but I got two fives, which is good. Three and a one. Yeah, that'll bring stuff. With the three, I brought a section in this building, kind of covering down there. One, I'm not doing anything. Uh, Andre had his sermon on uh, Overwatch, and he can see right through here. So he's going to take a shot at the guys in the building. And three, three hits. hits. Alright, so soft cover because of the HE. Uh, I guess they'll all have to go on this squad because you can't see them. So uh, one dead. Let me see if it's my squad leader. Please no. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so I lost a guy. Um, and that's it. So you're now no more watching. Can I shoot back at me? Can I? MG42. Actually, they can do stuff to. To uh, technically, I could drive you off the table. Because there's a way. I don't. I've never done it, but machine guns, if they get super lucky, they can actually hit like the vision slit and make the vehicle like back up. And if that were to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you would lose that shirt. I Sherman. would be very bummed. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. It's like, I think the chances are very slim. So anyway, I let's, would hope so. <laughs> especially from that far. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we got here for the British phase. Wow. Hey, it looks like a German roll. <laughs> it sure does. Lieutenant McFarland with one of the fours ordered the mortar team up. He moved up with them. This team came in with, a, or that section came in on a three. And some of the mystery around uh, the 22 support points, or 21, is over because he brought another Sherman. And he brought it with a four. And that is because he obviously has a third Sherman coming in. So he's able to form a tank platoon. And when you do that, one of them can be a senior leader. So that's the guy with the star uh, on the back there. So he came in, put himself on Overwatch. And he's ordering his other tank to fire at the uh, guys in the building. So I guess I better get the hell out of that building here. <laughs> <laughs> if I can. Whoa. Four hits and I took out the wall. Four hits, he took out the wall. And all of them are going on that one dude. 
Come on, give me some saves here. Ooh, so he's dead. And one shock. And a shock. Let me see if it's my leader. No. So he's dead. Uh, there's no shock because he's dead. So that's a team wiped out. Oh, that was your. That's yeah. That's I my thought squad it was a three-man team. Nope. It's one of the. So I'll roll a bad thing. Yep. Uh, three. That's minus one. Minus one. So I'm down to ten. Uh -oh. <laughs> so. Yeah. That didn't work out how I thought it was going to. So. They're not on a Overwatch anymore. It's true. They're dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then. The uh, great Overwatch in the sky. <laughs> So I'm gonna do, are you done? Uh, yeah. Okay, German phase. Not a double phase. You're racking up the I am getting dice, some points. So I haven't so gotten one yet. See what I can do with that. Okay, with the two and the one, made a three, and I'm bringing in the Panzer IV. He is gonna take a shot on the command vehicle. I'm um, using both command initiatives, so a four. Last game um, I missed this. So, yeah, okay, it just seems odd that uh, I can't fire my overwatch when a tank drives into view, but... Well, the rules... Yeah, no, yeah. it's... It does seem weird, but technically he didn't move there. It's, it's more of an infantry uh, thing, but yeah. Well, we could. Mm, it, no. it, it actually makes more sense that way. I agree with you. So if you want to do your shot first, go for it. I don't really want to... We've got a few or, house rules already. I don't want to... Well, let me uh, just check the book real quick. Uh, so I changed my mind. With HE or armor? Uh, HE. Okay. So my, I changed my mind. I brought my tank in over here. Um, the rules say you have to be within six inches of the jump-off point. The jump-off point is the road. So he's coming in over here. He's out of line of sight of the Shermans now. So we're not going to have to worry about that now. And he did put he did go on Overwatch, the main gun, put an HE shell in. And we're covering kind of right down that direction. And that'll be it. That was a, that was a three and I got one left, which I'm not doing anything with. <laughs> <laughs> Same roll. Same exact roll as last time. That's the German rule there with all the fours. It looks like uh, McFarland ordered this uh, section up. They're advancing up towards the wood line. Two inch mortar tried to drop smoke uh, in the gap, but it drifted over here and is now blocking the side of the tank. Also brought in a demo team. Demo on team. One. Okay. So you're going to try the demo team again, huh? All right. And then over here with the four, tank commander ordered that guy to go on overwatch. He decided to drive, barely moved, and blocked his own guy's overwatch. I think you got, what, a five, five inch move on that? <laughs> five inch move with three dice. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. So German phase. Double, Double phase. phase. And a three. And a four. And a two. All right. Man. The two, I brought in a section. Top floor this time, look in that direction. And Heinz, or uh, Lieutenant Heinz has come in on a four. I did buy the uh, adjutant. Sweet. So I could bring him in. Uh, with the three, I moved the tank up, crashed through that hedge. He's up there. And that is it for my first phase. Now I will go and do a second phase. Another chain of command point. Got a three, two fours, and a two. Uh, with the two, uh, I paid three points for an additional five-man rifle team with SMG squad leader. And with one point, I bought an emplacement. So I brought that in there. Six inches of that jump-off point. Uh, the tank moved up with the three. No, I'm sorry. That was last phase, wasn't it? <laughs> and then uh, I, with, oh, with the three, I brought in, I brought a half-track. And in the half track is that section there. And that is it for, for me. So let's go straight on into the British phase. 
Hey. Hey, some threes. I got a, you got a, point. a chain of command point. I forgot I was actually going to do some shooting with these guys when um, they came in. And Andre graciously allowed me to do it, even though he had already rolled his dice. So I'm going to shoot at the, uh, just that squad in the front there. So main target is the Bren team. Okay. And that's 16 dice for two MG42s, long range. That's quite a few hits. All right. Seven hits. Seven hits. So odd hit will go on to the Bren team. Actually, you can spread them around. That's right, you have to spread them around to everyone, don't you? So you got uh, quite a few teams in there. So you want an extra one on the Bren team. Yep, and then you got another extra one. And then you got two more. Does losing the... Uh, do I have to have the full demo team in order to... Uh, I don't think so. Okay. You do lose one. Okay. Let's go ahead and roll them up. It's a dead Bren, Bren teamer and a shock. Why are you guys in the open? Why didn't I see that coming? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, easy there, Andre. <laughs> the rifle team was two dead riflemen. Crushed by dice. Okay, next. Uh, that's a shock on the rifles. I would like to kill one of those stupid mortar guys. Well, here's your chance. Nope. They're good. And finally, the demo team. Who? Snake Eyes. So that means I had a guy, right? Yep. <laughs> Insane heroism. They get to move immediately. Uh, so with one uh, lost, one guy. One guy. One Bren team. And check and see if it's your squad leader. Don't forget that. It is not. And two shock. And two shock. All right. So, thanks, Andre, for uh, letting um, me do that. And now you can proceed. With the three, the junior leader removed the shock from the two shock from that section. The four, Lieutenant McFarland ordered the demo team and the section to move up to the wall behind the hard cover. And he ordered the mortar team to drop smoke in between the building there. And then with the other three, he brought in his final tank, which is a Firefly. Now he has his whole tank platoon on the board. And, and yes, I did totally screw this up again. <laughs> it's not over yet. Go to the German phase. See, we get double phase here. Oh yeah, like no. you really need one. <laughs> I do. No. <laughs> two threes, I moved my two vehicles up. Oriented down that way, staying behind cover because, or out of sight, I should say, because this uh, Firefly is on Overwatch, which is bad news for any tank. So with the two, I'll only use one of them. I'm going to take this team, and we're going to fire at the section. And Andre's really starting to grow to hate these MG42s. Only when you get seven hits. Well, this time I only got four. That's a little more nasty. So four hits, and I was targeting, well I guess it doesn't matter, you can pick where the odd one goes because you're in cover. Alright, two on the rifles, one on the brand, one on the demo team. Uh, it's a shock on the rifles. Zero, nothing. Nada on the uh, Bren and demo team. Oh. Ooh. Dead demo teamer. And uh, yeah, that's it for my face. <laughs> nice. I think I make a four. Nice, nice baby. One of the ones, the Piat team came in, which is good. I don't know why you waited so long last game to bring him in. I forgot about him. <laughs> <laughs> but him being out early is gonna, it's gonna make a difference with how I move my tanks around. Um, let's see what else. Oh, the four. Uh, McFarland, uh, oh, with the other one, he fired another smoke. 
So now he's blocking line of sight from my uh, firing position here. And McFarland, he removed the shock from that team, ordered them over the wall, and he ran up to catch up with them. And that was it. So now we will go to the uh, German phase. Another chain of command point. In the next campaign that we do, the Scottish Corridor, the Germans are called uh, Superior Regulars. And if you get a single six, it becomes a five and you get another chain of command point. <laughs> oh, harsh. So you ran racking them up there, man. Yeah. So I wound up with a one, two, and a four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's... Anyway, um, Hines put these two... Uh, teams on Overwatch, even though they can't see anything. And with the two and the one, I made a three and put the tank on Overwatch. So now I'm pretty much stuck here because I can't cross the road without taking a shot from the damn Firefly. So. And your inability to roll a double phase continues. Can't roll a five this game either, which yes. is unusual for me. Yes, it is. Usually I'm racking those up with the four from Tendon McFarland. Ordered this squad to move up to the uh, building, which they did. And he ordered these two teams, the demo team, Piot team, to run. So they both took a shock. And he moved himself as well. And, or he moved with that squad. Um, this, this squad came in on a three. And the tanks are on the move. The platoon leader ordered himself and one other tank to move. And they both got decent... Uh, Decent rolls, so they're moving up. Now we will go directly into the German phase. Another five, so I got my chain of command point or dice. Yay! <laughs> do you, what do you have? One. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of that's different. Uh, two ones and a three. I just use the two threes. I'm trying to get these. I'm backing up, and I got really crappy rolls, and they only made it that far. So. I was debating, uh, we, were, we were talking about, I was going to try to run the gauntlet and cross the road and face, hopefully he gets lucky and misses his uh, overwatch, but I decided against it. I got two teams in that half track and I was kind of deciding, well, what would he shoot at? He can't shoot twice with the overwatch, so if I move the half track first, maybe he'll skip it and wait for my tank, but he said he would have blasted my ass with the half track. <laughs> And you'd have parked right in the middle of the road. Well, yeah, and I would have had a three-inch move, so I would have stopped. <laughs> Dead stop right there. So. Yeah, there's two fives. Yay. What do you want about one and a two? Oh, man. Okay. So that's not leaving you much options there, Andre. A one and a two? It is not. I didn't have many options, so uh, the one Piat team moved up to the building. And this section just kind of leapt over the wall, and that was it. Uncharacteristically short phase for Andre. Well, that's what happens when I get a one and a two, I guess. So, that's German phase is quicker than your last one. <laughs> that's true. Another five. Wow. Okay. Racking them up. Racking them up. So two threes and a four. Panzer four moved back eight. Half track moved back what three again? Yeah. He's moved a total of uh, what, six inches in two phases. <laughs> Actually five. But five, five inches. Who's counting? <laughs> and then uh, Lieutenant Hines put this squad on Overwatch. So everyone over here is on Overwatch. So now let's see what McFarland can do. He can roll a bunch more fives. Yeah. So you're already up to five already. Oh. Yep. So you can keep that barrage going. <laughs> And a two and a three, so again, limited options. Both squads with the two and the three are just, uh, these guys moved up, these guys hopped the wall, they're in the smoke. And McFarland is with them. So now German phase. Mm, no fives, but I got two more threes. Well, four two more threes. Two more threes. threes. <laughs> <One more. laughs> well, that counts, right? <laughs> That's right, man. Uh, well, I only had use for two threes. Everyone else is already on Overwatch. So the long trek to turn around at the end of this road is continuing, and that's how far we made it. Uh, he moved, what, four inches this time. 
So it's Woo-hoo! he's hauling ass. He's moved ten complete inches in three whole phases. So on to the British. Whoa! <laughs> now you're racking him up. <sighs> now I'm ahead of you, right? Yeah, because you got one plus a two on the next one. And then a two and a three. Yeah, these phases are going fast now when you keep rolling so many dice. This squad, uh, super fast squad, as opposed to my half track, they got a double six and ran all the way up here. They went through that gap there. And then with the three, the other uh, Sherman just got a pretty good roll and moved up there next to the platoon leader. So let's do the German phase now, shall we? We shall. No double phase. Hmm. No threes either. No point of command dice. No, <laughs> no, no a lot of things. But with that roll, I did nothing, so let's see what Andre can do. Oh, doubles. Woo! Oh, boy. And a bunch of fours. <laughs> too many fours. Well, you were complaining about not enough fours. Now you got too many, so. But you can still do a lot with that. I can. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff. So both tanks have moved up pretty good. Um, Sergeant Sam came in. And he ordered the mortar team up. Demo team moved up. And that was it, right? Um, oh, and two shock. You moved from shock. The mortar team up, the demo team over, pulled two shock, yeah. Okay. And that was first of the two phases. So now we're going to the second one. Okay. I'll take a couple more fours. That's what you need. Oh, the, one of the fours. Um, Lieutenant McFarland moved the Piot and mortar team that direction and this demo team moved this direction. The one he brought in another demo team so he got two demo teams and then the other four he put both of these Shermans on overwatch. So now it is the German phase. Two more fives. <laughs> And no threes. <laughs> that doesn't help me at all. Well, makes quick turns. Yeah, I don't really. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> your turn. <laughs> or your phase. <laughs> Couple fours. That's what you're always looking for. And a bunch of fours and ones. Actually, not bad. Ones are good. This demo team was able to make it through the gap. Got up with the squad here. For the one. Another one. This guy, he rolled the snake guys. So they moved. <laughs> Two inches. Uh, this uh, Sergeant Sam moved up and he ordered both of these teams to move up. So the Piot is now hiding at the edge of the house. Two inch mortar moved up. And the platoon commander for the tank platoon ordered that Sherman to move and he made it to there. And that's it. So the Germans. Double phase! And no threes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the four Heinz, he ordered this uh, team to move this direction, and now we're we're actually kind of right here. We're covering out that window, just covering that area there. And that's all I can do. So, double phase though. Come on, give me some threes this time, damn it. There's a three? Yeah, a three. Okay, well, that's better than no threes. And then another dice. The three, I moved my tank. Um, concerned about his Overwatch, uh, the Firefly, his angle, he can see to about here. So I can safely move up to here with the tank and not get shot at by the uh, Firefly. So what are we going to say? The Does this badly obscure? Yeah, well, we can't see through it two inches, right? Right, but if I'm up against it, I would say I was obscured. There's two levels. There's somewhat obscured and badly. So if I was up here with a badly obscured, you would need a nine to hit me on two dice. Wow. So this would give me some cover. So anyway, I would say badly. I mean, okay. I'm. It's, it's pretty much blocking me. It's so. a big hedge. Yeah. Um, so that's what I did with the two and the one. And Heinz with the four put the squad or a uh, team here, the MG42 team on Overwatch. Double. I was oh. just going to say, time for a double phase. Well, you got it. 
I and got it. Force. Man, that's kind of like the uh, holy grail that you're looking for. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about this a minute. Two Shermans have moved up to there. The squad, uh, I think they got the snake eyes. They only moved back two inches. Demo team moved up. This demo team moved up to the wall. And the squad is now going back the other direction. Oh, one other thing. What's that? I'm ending the turn. What? Ending the turn. Okay. So I can't... Or, oh, actually, um, I'm also going to move him. I forgot because I'm ending the turn, so... So you're moving the uh, firefly up. Okay. So he's so, going to end the turn, which will remove all of my overwatch, sadly. So he can move 1d6 and shoot, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you shooting at? The window. Well, so you're going to take a shot with your 2he into the window, okay? Yep. Watch you probably wipe him out. <laughs> 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 Not with that roll. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. That's why you don't bring a firefly to a machine gun fight. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So you're ending the turn. Yeah. So all the overwatches will come off. And I'm going to use a dice to keep the turn going. <laughs> here we go. No crapping out here. Oh yeah. The fours and the threes. Two threes, two fours, and an ace. I ought to be able to do something with that. Oh, so this is with the four. So the first thing he's doing, the Sherman on the right is going to fire a shell into this room here. 6 HE. Uh, two hits. So soft cover. Ooh, I lost a man. Uh, let me see if it's the squad leader here. Oh, oh it is. Takes an HE shot, but and he's just dazed. lightly wounded. So, a bad thing though. So, wounded leader. Ooh, Ooh man. Uh, junior leader wounded five is minus one. Okay, so I'm down to nine. Alright, so now we will continue. Okay. The command tank has moved. He only got a two. He moved one d6 as he wants to fire at the, uh, the guys in the building again. Uh, whoa. Ooh, five hits. That's not good. Three, four, five, all on those guys. Oh boy. Hmm. So they're soft cover, so that is four shock. Whoa. That's not good. That is really not good. So are they within four of those guys, I'm assuming? Hopefully. <laughs> um Well, those they're not they're really over here. Oh, that's true, they're over there. But... They're still not? So they're actually two separate teams at this point. So they're pinned then. That team is pinned. Uh, by the, where they are, how they are now. So they're going to be pinned. Uh, I, th I think you are. So if those guys were really sitting just like that... Uh -huh. You would. Uh, well, actually, both have of these guys are uh, attached to them too. So one, two, three, four, five. So actually, they're not pinned. Well, except you can't uh, bridge with. No, your, but I mean uh, just leaders. just having these two with them. Oh, oh, okay. Even without that other team. But I'm uh, I'm gonna say that you do have your four inches there okay. if they were where you right, said so they were. So they're down. They still have. So they got four pins and yeah. Okay. That was not. That was a hell of a shot. That shook him up pretty bad. So. So since I'm at that angle, do I get to fire the whole machine gun too? <laughs> well, you moved one d6 and only fire one weapon. Oh, what about? <laughs> well, I can't fire off the other one. Um, <laughs> no, because the guys are in front of you there. Okay, this tank has to go back on Overwatch. All right. And. I. Oh, I still. Okay. Okay, well, hold on a second here. So he's moved with the one. Piot has moved. Planning on taking a shot at the half track. So you're in the third range interval. You moved. So it's five, six, seven, eight. I'm trying to decide if I want to use a interrupt to move out of the way. You need an eight on two dice. 
so looking at uh, less than 50% chance. But so if I burn my uh, command dice, I could back out of the way and get out of line of sight. Of course, the rate this guy's moving, I might not make it. <laughs> I might roll another two or a three and he's gonna, stuck out there. He's going to throw it in reverse and drive off the table the way he's been going. He's I am. going to find gear. I'm going to do it. I have to do it. I have a squad in there. I can't lose them. So I'm going to burn my chain of command point, my chain of command dice. And I'm going to reverse 2d6. <laughs> <laughs> ah. What's with this guy? Um, well, at least I could. Can you move this guy up back for me? At least I can uh, get some obscurity. So you want to come back like that? Yeah. So I would say now I'm obscured. You're over 50% obscured. So I'll say heavy obscured. Well, that's going to make it harder for you to hit because now you need a 9 plus the 10. You need a boxcars to hit me. Really? Yeah, because. Heavy, or highly obscured, moved, and you're in the third range interval. Oh man, I thought I saw it there for a second. <laughs> so the Piot missed. Um, Barely. <laughs> that would have hit if I didn't move though. That would have been ugly. Oh yeah, I would have lost a lot of dudes, possibly. Anyway, so continue on. We took a shot. Yeah, well we did that on that. Okay. So the with the three that was left over, this squad moved up to here, leaving a gap for the tank. Um, uh, Lieutenant McFarland this ordered this squad over this direction. The demo team that was here, he ordered they ran over to here. I guess they're gonna try to blow a hole through there. And then the other demo team have moved up to this to uh, right there. So let's go in and see what the Germans can do. A couple threes. Which I'll take. One of the threes I'm using, I move my Panzer IV up, and now he is going to spring his ambush. So, uh, badly obscured, so you need nine. So I'm counting on this miss. That's basically why I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, man. You sure it was a nine? <laughs> Let me just double check, but I'm 100% sure. Oh, uh, to hit very uh, new badly obscured hole down. But it, a firefly um, gets plus nine. one, doesn't it? No. <laughs> so you miss, and so now I get to shoot. And I would say you're obscured for me, even. And I, I was kind of counting on that. You're probably the same. Nine, ten, really, because I moved. So I need a ten to hit you. But this guy's an ace, and uh. uh Hands are so he's gonna hit. Ah, not quite. Boom, boom. Okay, so that was a three. So now I'll finish my other three. So the, <laughs> the half track moved. Uh, he was able to move one, basically. So he, <laughs> he moved one d six and rolled the one. So he just turned a little bit so he can get within arc of that piot. So we're gonna fire at the uh, piot with the machine gun on top of the half track. So we got three hits, and you are in soft cover. And is my mortar team within four? So okay, so three hits. Down. Three hits on the mortar team. Uh, soft cover, so that's just what, a uh, shock. shock? A shocking experience. Okay. Uh, with the four, Lieutenant Hines, um, I'm assuming can you measure and see if I'm within nine of these? Sure uh, looks like it. These guys here. I don't think that's any problem. Yeah. Okay. So I got five rifles, and they are going to shoot at the Piot team. Okay. And I got two hits. Ooh, you got one. Ooh, I killed one. Okay. So one dead and. You got one pin on you, so you're not, but you're not pinned. You have to have more shock than men. That's the Piot gunner himself he just pulled out. You want to lead the rifleman? I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay, so that was a four. Um, the other Heinz is also going to put uh, this squad back into Overwatch. And he's going to put this squad 
back into Overwatch as well. So those are his three commands. And that will do it for the Germans. Well, here we go with the British. That is not a double phase. No, but you got your fours again. Your I got threes, three fours. Which, you're good. The one of the fours, he's ordering the Firefly to fire back on the Panzer IV. He misses. Okay, so 6HE up on the machine gun team. The other Sherman on the right is firing at the machine gun team in the window again. Ooh, man, four hits. I gotta get those guys out of there, huh? All right. Uh, one dead and a shock. So they're at five. Let's see if it's my leader. No. Uh, so they're at five. They're down a man. So let me take that out, guy out of there. So you're one, still two, at six, three, four, right? Yep. Okay. Still not pinned. So that was the tank commander with the four ordering those two things, so he can still, he has one more. Which I'm assuming he's going to move himself, right? Um, he's going to fire. He's going to shoot too. He's okay. going to shoot also. All right. The last shot didn't do it. So three hits. Three barely. Three light hits. Okay, here we go again. Need some saves. Uh, one shot. One more shot. That pinned you. Does it? I believe so. Here it's, or is it more? Or? It has to be more than guys in there. So I got six guys, so yeah, I need one more. You have a machine gun, though. Of course, I don't know if you're technically in that angle. <laughs> yeah. So we'll say you can't shoot the machine gun. That would, uh, I think, be reasonable. I was thinking about the mach uh, machine gun back here also. Well, he only, ha he doesn't have a bow gun. I mean, he doesn't, yeah, he's, he's oh. only got a coax, I believe. But I'm not sure the bow gun could even, because uh, uh, it's yeah, I'm coming see. right over the edge there. Right, so I think that's about all you can do with the tanks. Uh, the Piat, the platoon well, leader is back there, orders the Piat to move and shoot and remove the shock. So same deal here, you're going to need, uh, let's see, five, six, and still badly obscured. So nine... Still need a, what, a 10? Oh, yeah! Oh! <laughs> yeah, you got it. No, you didn't. <laughs> okay. So he's going to move. And he's boogieing. He doesn't want to get... Well, you can only move 1d6 if you move and shoot. Oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so he got out of dodge. Okay. Uh, the Sergeant Sam moved up to there. Mortar was going to fire, did not, and I think that will do it. None, none of these infantry sections moved. So that's it. So we'll see what the Germans can do. Come on, give me a three. This tank duel's got to continue here. Huh? Ooh, double phase. Two threes. Fire so the half track moved up five inches. World's slowest half track. And then with my other three, I'm firing the Panzer IV at the Firefly. Ah! This time I need a uh, just a nine. Just a nine. Oh, uh, I got a ten. Uh, Let me let's collect up the dice. So it's nine uh, AP versus his six armor. And I got three. I got one. And you got one. So two net hits. So let's see what we get here. And that's not good. A five on two net hits. Two shock. Whole machine gun knocked out. Of course you don't have a whole machine gun, so it doesn't matter. But you do two you do take two shock. Alright. Let me get that damn firefly out of here. <laughs> Next phase for me. Ah oh, yes. Ah. I almost thought I didn't get the three. Two fours and basically two threes. So Heinz removed three shock from the team here. And with the other, that was with the four. And with the three, the squad leader ordered them to move back. Uh, they moved back to there. And now with the last three, I'm going to fire the 
Panzer IV again at the Firefly, this time needing an 8 because I hit it already. Ah. So 9 against uh, 6, 7. Alright. 9 against 6 again. That means you by 2. Yeah, so, so it bounced it. No, that means I shot it back at you. Yeah. Your ricochet back at you. <laughs> yeah. No more fa no more magical ricochets, Andre. <laughs> so nothing. Sadly. I wanted to get another pin. I think one more pin you would have been uh you got your crew would have bailed and got out of town. So go straight into the uh British phase. Oh. No fours. <laughs> 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 nice. Okay. So they almost get a chain of command point. <laughs> almost. And a three and a two. The uh, three he used to take the two shock off of the Firefly, and that was it. All all he did. So now Germans again. There's my three. Another chain of command point. So a four and two threes. So the half track got to move. Um, moved up to there. And with the other three, I'm going to fire again at the Firefly. Even an eight. You don't get three in a row. That ain't right. Nope, you're right. I don't. I, I saw missed. that five. <laughs> okay, that's it. Your phase. Here we go. This is a tank duel going on here. Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> Double <laughs> phase and I can do shit. So with the four, one of the fours... I didn't, did I fire? I didn't, uh... You don't have anything to shoot at with that. But I was gonna, um... Well, with the four, uh, this tank, he did crash the wall. Did not bog down, so the wall is gone. The British infantry, one of the sections is poured through. Uh, he still needs to shoot the Firefly. At the Panzer IV, needing a nine this time. Oh, oh. No. Okay, this I know the firefly is a lot of right, twelve versus six here. Um I got one. I got three. So two net hits only somehow. The fours don't uh no it's, it's fives and sixes. Fives or right? sixes. So okay. roll uh roll one on two two net hits. A two two shock Gunner killed two phases to change. Ooh. How no. come mine was so much better than oh, yeah. yours? That's what I mean. I rolled a five and didn't do anything. <laughs> well, you don't even have a whole machine gun, that's why. Yeah, I'd well, rather lose the whole machine still. gun than the main gun. <laughs> so I got two shock and my driver has been, I mean, uh, Gunner? Did I say Gunner? Yeah, Gunner killed. I'm just going to take two phases to change him out. And then when he comes back, it'll be a different guy, and he'll be worse at shooting. Okay. Um, he's going to drive up a little bit. Okay. And that was only the first of two phases for Andre. This is why he's making his move. He's got a double phase. It's a good time to do it. Um, that'll work. Yeah, you're getting a lot of fours when you need them. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, with the four with the tank, he moved his commander up. We'll just do all this right now. So take yeah. a shot at the half track. So he moves, he needs a six. So that's a hit. And hold on. the Sherman gets seven armor, or AP, and I only get two dice. So he's got Ouch. four. So I got to hit both of these to have a chance to survive. No, I hit one. So I'm at plus three. Yeah, so three net hits is automatically destroyed. So roll a d6 and see if it blows up. It does not blow up. All right, hold on. So he gets d6 hits on the... Uh, so go ahead and roll the d6 hits for the passengers. It's knocked out. Three. And it's as if they are in the open. So three shock. And they will get out, and they will have three shot. So I got out uh, three inches. Just got out behind the wall here, and I got my three shock. And I'm going to roll a bad thing for losing. Well, we're going to say a support unit. Four. No, that's minus two. Ooh. You just made the minus two level. Awesome. So I'm down to seven. So I lost my half track. Got some shock. 
And <laughs> all right, uh, the Firefly. Need an A. So you hit it last time, right? So you need an eight this time. Doesn't no. mean it. Okay, so that's it for your tanks. Uh, this tank moved up uh, two inches or something, right? Yeah, and he's has he got a shot on your bunker there? Uh, maybe. All right, so he's going to fire the. Uh, he moved one d six, right? Yeah. And then he's going to shoot at the emplacement with the rifle team. We're saying since he's the, it's a turret, he can shoot over the guy as long as they're not within six of the target. Uh, one hit. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> See, there's my leader. No. So I lost a man. Oh, and real quick, this guy actually came back to life because... Uh, we forgot this is a bunker, and with bunkers you ignore the first kill roll in any phase. So the only guy I ever lost was him, so he would have been the first kill in whatever phase he died in, so he didn't die. And we still got a lot of stuff to go. That was just the tank platoon. You still got another four, a couple of threes, so we'll be right back. So this section here, this is with a another four, right? Yeah. So with another four, the... Uh, Sir, Lieutenant McFarland. He's ordering this section to shoot at the guys here in the uh, emplacement. So here we go. Needing, uh, Actually, this would be with a three. Okay. So four pluses. Wow. That's a lot of hits. <laughs> what is that? Ten. Ten hits. Okay then. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I get ten saves. I'm in hard cover though. You are. Oh man. I'm rolled almost as good as you did. One dead and three shock. So let's see if it's a squad leader. It is not. One dead and three shots. Uh, this uh, Sergeant Sam has ordered the two inch mortar to fire onto uh, this team here, or this section, squad, sorry. And he got one hit. So we're rolling a, uh, see what happened here. Nothing. Okay, and then these guys are going to go ahead and uh, move up. They're actually going to uh, come up. This side here. This squad has run 14 inches and made it all the way to there. That will do it for the British phase. It was not a double phase, right? So it is now the German phase. Wait. Um, is Dewey an outdoor cat now? German phase. Yeah, two more, but I did get a chain of command dice. Um, not a double phase, unfortunately. A three and a two. Yeah, so it's a two and a three is not helpful because I can't remove any shock. I mean, I can, but only from the tank. I'm using three to take the two off of him. And at the end of this phase, the gunner will be replaced. And a two, yeah, man, I'm got a lot of shock built up. Three on each squad, and no way to remove it. <laughs> I do have a chain of command dice, though. That could come in handy. Could, so that'll be it for my phase. All six? No. No, all six. <laughs> <laughs> Careful what you wish for. All ones. Uh, I got my chain of command die. Okay. And, and two threes and a four should be enough for me. All right, so there's a lot of shooting going on. The four, yeah, he moved the Sherman up, and then everyone else is going to shoot. Why don't we start with the Sherman? So, this Sherman is firing at those these guys. These guys. Okay, six shots. Six HE. So, three, three hits. hits. I'm actually within four of these guys, so I can split them up. Yep. So, I guess I'm in hard cover with both, right? I'd say so. Okay, so we'll do uh, two on the target squad. Saved. Was it three? Uh, yeah. And then one on the squad in the sandbags. Ooh. Let's see if it's the squad leader. 
No. So another killed out of the sandbag squad. Okay, that's one Sherman. <laughs> uh, the next Sherman, this one here, is going to fire on to these guys here. Three again. Two more. So two, we'll do two on the guys in the sandbags. That's two shock. So they're pinned. Uh, so they're at five, and then one more on the other squad behind the wall, and another shock on them. They're getting close to being pinned, but they probably will be by the time he gets done with all of his, uh... So why don't you gather up all your dice for all the infantry shooting? Oh wait, do you want to do the, uh, fire... might as well do the firefly now as well. Uh, that's a hit. A nine. Or an eight. Barely. So you're 12 and it's minus six. I got two. I got uh, four. So two more and it hits again. And I rolled a two. It's the same thing. Gunner killed again. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how many one left. That's not a good spot to be. <laughs> yeah. So two shock and the gunner, the replacement gunner is killed. So now I have a replacement for the replacement, replacement in two phases. Maybe. If you lose that long. Okay, so that's all the tank shooting, so now we will do the gather up the dice for the infantry. This squad is doing the close assault on these guys. And fire up the dice. don't want to kill them is the thing. <laughs> well, you might. You probably will. So yeah. after all said and done, I only have three dice. Uh, they're pinned. Anyway, I wound up with three. And how many do you have? Uh, 16. 16. So three versus 16. Crappy roll. Hey, got three kills though on you. Ouch. Did Oops. you win this? Tell you that. So actually, we were close. Uh, I killed three, he killed four only. But I only had three, well, so they were wiped out. So three and three. Um, it would have been funny if I would have beat you and you fell back. <laughs> um, actually... <laughs> that would have been something. I right? would have... Well, you'd have fallen back also. That's true. But anyway, so Which is I... what I was shooting for. I wiped out. Uh, he lost three men. And the assault is over. And you still have some shooting to do with these guys, right? Right. So you, these guys are going to shoot at these guys. And the yes. firing position. So he's moving 1d6 with that squad. And we're just reading the rules. Uh, the winner of the assault can choose to advance into the position held by the people that he defeated. So he could have moved into the bunker or into the emplacement. Then that would have put him within four again. There would have been another close assault, I believe. I don't know for sure. But this would have been a lot harder on him because I have two machine guns in hard cover, not pinned. So he would have, I would have had tons of dice. And he chose not to do it. So he's staying without, staying on four inches here, I'm assuming. So he has to move to get out of uh, that burning half track that's blocking his line of sight. So he's going to try to pin these guys down. He only needs a couple pins or shock and they'll be pinned. So the total up is seven shots for moving and firing at half effect. Three hits. Three hits. Oh man, mm -hmm. two dead. Ah. It looks like it might be time to withdraw. <laughs> uh, I'll take one from each team. Actually, I was supposed to roll those separate, wasn't I? Yeah, because this is two, actually two teams here. I'll just take one from each. How with it? I'm probably going to be pulling out here anyway. Did they route? Uh, did you get any shock? Well, they have already got... Oh, many? yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're, they are... Uh, so they were one, two, three, four, there were six. Now they're down to one, three, so they are pinned. They're not routed. Just pinned. They are pinned. No, it's looking ugly. So, and that's it for your turn for your phase. Uh, it would appear so. And I think I'm going to withdraw from the table. Before I roll these, I have to withdraw. Um, actually, yeah, I am. Uh, I don't know if I can because I can only. This is a bunker, so I can only go out that door. And I can't get over the wall. <laughs> Actually, I think it says if you can draw a line of sight to a 
um, a jump off point in your knot pin. Let me just double check. Lieutenant Hines has ordered the withdrawal or uh, the advance to the rear because we're going to. I can draw a unbroken line to all of my to a jump off point with everyone. Because I haven't decided if I want to keep this platoon around for one more one more battle before I bring in my first platoon or not. So we have pulled out. Uh, the British have taken Fontenay in dramatic fashion. Close assaults, uh, tanks breaking through walls. We haven't had an assault in a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, so real quick, we're going to tally up all the changes and we'll come back and wrap it up. All right, so wrap up here. Uh, Start with Lieutenant Hines. Um, his outlook has dropped from secure to cheerful. I don't know why he's so happy about uh, getting his butt kicked, but uh, uh, the men's opinion, it was at plus three and it dropped all the way to zero. Um, they weren't happy about uh, losing so many of their guys in this battle. CEO's opinion was plus one, it dropped to zero. He wasn't happy about Hines losing uh, the main line of resistance here. So overall, for next battle, I will be uh, down nine men. Which, when you only have squads, uh, teams of three guys, uh, that's <laughs> that's three teams out of six gone. That's half my force uh, not coming in next battle. I do have a fresh platoon though, so I could. I still have my Panzer for it. It didn't die, thankfully. So I could try to squeeze one more battle out of. Lieutenant Hines' platoon, and maybe get lucky and stall uh, the British for one more game with Hines. So I might do that. I don't know. I'll think about it. Uh, but uh, they had, for this battle, we lost uh, four killed, two wounded, and one returning. Uh, Lieutenant McFarland and the Fusiliers, uh, is the CO's opinion has gone from zero to one, plus one. He was quite happy that he was able to crack this uh, defensive line. The men's opinion actually went up one from minus three to minus two. And his own opinion was unchanged. So uh, in this battle, he lost two men killed, one man wounded. And overall losses for the campaign is 11 men killed. Uh, Heinz's platoon overall has lost seven killed. And neither of us are having any change on our force morale roll for our next game. So that's it for this one. Uh, Andre was pulled it off somehow. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but you did. The uh, next battle will be called Striking at St. Nicholas. I did it by bringing three Shermans. So yeah, so quick uh, wrap here. My, I just got beat down pretty good. So... Uh, if I would have killed that uh, firefly earlier, I could have. I was. I wanted to swing around this way and s <laughs> just do a flanking thing, but that would be cool. But it never worked out. So, what do you think, Andre? Um, I was actually figuring I was just gonna. I thought you were gonna just hole up in the bunker, and I figured if I had the Shermans on uh, Overwatch. I could uh, park the uh, demo teams up against the building and blow it that way. And I figured that would be safer than trying to be bring the, the big uh, uh, gun, AVRE, in again. Well, I don't know if the demo teams can't blow up the building. They could blow a hole in the side, basically, is all they can well, do. Well, yeah. But uh, it, would, uh, it would give me an entry. You know, I could blow a couple holes in it and... Uh, have additional entry points and, oh, and storm the building possibly or yeah that's true because it's really the only entry point for this is technically where those boxes are there's a hole that's the only way in and out so i figured if i got enough holes in it uh you wouldn't be able to defend all of them well no and i could have just stayed in there and made you assault through that <laughs> i mean you're assaulting into hard cover against machine guns it could have got real bloody but it it wouldn't have been pretty, but I, uh, you know, I was kind of planning on you just holding up inside. But then um, to do that, you really had to take all your jump-off points and have them all just around the bunker. 
Otherwise, I could do like last time and possibly sweep the uh, jump off points again. Yeah, well, I did have that one <laughs> as a backup. But uh, yeah, I pulled out. I could have stayed fought to the bloody end, but I think I might be able to squeeze one more game out of what's left of uh, Heinz's platoon. Because I still got the Panzer IV. I can still get the tank scraped next game. And St. Nicholas's farm is pretty wide open terrain, so. And then if I lose, I can always do the counterattack, <laughs> which I need to do if I don't want to which, get court-martialed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's got to come up soon. So I think, yeah, I think I might just keep Heinz's platoon one more game, and then even if I lose, then I'll do my counterattack. So anyway, it was a good game. Andre did a good job uh, crushing that wall and pouring in, and just yeah, it was, it was really nice. So anyway. That's it for this one, and we'll be back uh, next time when we continue this campaign. Quick postscript, uh, looking at the rules, it turns out I have no choice but to field the fresh platoon next uh, battle, so I would have been better off just staying and fighting to the death. So anyway, looks like we'll have a fresh platoon uh, for the next one. <laughs>